Guys, <laughs> you know, like, hey guys, 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 hey Love to meet you, man. Love to meet you too. Good stuff. I actually have a few questions I want to ask you. I got hundreds. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Well, let's. Okay, you go. Uh, mm. I'll go first. So, how many businesses have you started? Mm. Okay, ever since I was born, perhaps <laughs> 15. 15? Yeah. Everything from. Okay, unregistered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All of that it. Unregistered is a probably about. Eight registered about where there was a CK dog. Sure, sure. Maybe another eight or ten. Okay. Probably eighteen. <laughs> yeah. Everything from gardening services mm. to non profit uh, maths and science school. Yeah, jeez, everything. <laughs> yeah. Why did you decide to go into entrepreneurship and why early? Mm. For me, um, well, the first part was just, you know, when I was doing the stuff in school. Mm. It was just not to have to ask for pocket money from mm. home. You know, it was like, mm. there's no money at home. Mm. I can see it. Mm. Why bother the parents? You know? mm. And like, then I think the last time I ever got pocket money, I was in grade nine. I was like, Crazy. I was like, yeah, 12 years old. That was the last time I asked for any pocket money. Mm. The rest I just made myself. Yeah. And then as I get, got older, mm. um, it, it, it just, that bug just came and just just beat you know mm. when when you're like okay um, I've got this corporate work and job but I see all my ideas I see someone doing them I'm like jeez I thought about this three years ago yeah and like you know sitting behind your desk in a cubicle you're like mm. I must get out of this cubicle you know <laughs> <laughs> and you move out describe to me the exact moment when you decided you wanted to be an entrepreneur. Yeah, the exact moment. That's a tough one. I think um, for a very long time, I always wanted to solve something big. Mm -hmm. I think uh, I I remember at some point in my life, um, probably around grade ten, mm -hmm. I told myself I want to invent something. That that was where I started, and I remember my mom saying. Uh, yeah, if you like inventors don't make money, you know, like, like she's like, she's like, just uh, you hear about all these scientists, they invent things, but they don't make money. So I don't think you should be an inventor, you know, and uh, you should go study commerce, you know, go be a businessman or something. And so that's literally what happened. I went and I signed up for accounting as a degree, Jeez. thinking that, you know, if I invent something, I'm not going to necessarily make money, whatever the case may be. And I say that's probably where the initial spark mm -hmm. started. Um, when I then got to university, I was initially doing accounting, yeah. but I was very passionate about computers. Mm. Um, I chose to do computer science as an elective, and within that time, I got to know more and more about this thing called startups and mm. startup cultures and Silicon Valley. Mm. And at some point, I heard about um, the story of guys, the guys who started Twitter, Facebook, yeah. uh, Amazon, and 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 I think at that point, that's when I can say I realized that there are things that you can invent that will one, change the world, mm. but at the same time can allow you to be successful. And from there, the term entrepreneur, I think, started falling into place. It was never yeah. just like, I want to be an entrepreneur. Yeah. It, was, yeah. it was more like I wanted to invent something that will hopefully change sure. the world in some sure. way. Sure, mm. that is true, because I think your mom wasn't too far off the map. <laughs> from, from the books we know, the, the guys who created the light bulb, yeah. the first guy who created the light bulb, yeah. They didn't make any money from nope. it. Only the other guy. JP Morgan and them took it from him, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. yeah so, mommy loves you, man. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. <clears throat> Who do you see yourself? <clears throat> Who do you see yourself as when you are my age? This makes me like feel old. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Jeez. Uh, Daniel San. Ah, <laughs> thank you, thank you, Mr. Miyagi. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, who do I see myself as? Yo, that's a tough question. Um, I don't think I've ever actually thought about who I see myself as per se, but I think I 
can maybe describe the type of person I'd like to become by then. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, sure. And I think it's it's definitely someone who, one, is contributing to the technology space at large. I think um, beyond whatever contribution I make from a business perspective, I genuinely just like to be someone who's at least on the African continent, mm -hmm. um, an influential part of the tech ecosystem. The world hasn't seen African code. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'd, I'd like to, by the time I'm 30, be able to say, I've contributed code yeah. that is used worldwide, mm -hmm. and it's African. Oh, you know? man, so yeah. something along those lines. That, that's where I'd like to see myself at. We can't be just the elephants and the, you know, the big five. No. The six thing must be the code. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. What have you learned about entrepreneurship that has surprised you? Mm -hmm. Maybe when you were still in yeah. corporate, you thought about it in one way, and when you came here, like yo. Actually. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> sure. I think there are certain things <clears throat> that, that um, are not written in books about business, mm. you know, and you only can get to understand them if, if, you, if you spend a lot of time with people who, are, who, who, who have been there, mm. you know, how to, how to hire right, mm. you know, the the normal uh, playbook will say, okay, look on, link, look on LinkedIn, put an advert on Gumtree, get a hundred responses. And then you find that you get the worst people. Whereas uh, the other playbook is, okay, whoever worked it before, mm. who, who I know for sure can do this thing. Mm. And then you just go find those people and, and, then, um, and you only work with those people, people mm. that you worked with before. Mm. Now it's got its own issues mm. around, you know, if you are white, you'll have worked with white people, and the mm. company is all white. If you're mm. black, I probably won't work with black people, and my company mm. is all black. But um, chances of success when you've got limited funding in a startup, mm. when you've got limited oxygen in your tank, are higher if you've got the best people, mm. rather than um, I, got, I, I took someone from Gumtree or mm. LinkedIn, and mm. then six months later I have to fire them because mm. they just can't perform, yet their CV was glowing, mm. and then I've lost six months of oxygen. Crazy. You know, and yeah, so it's, it's, a, it's some of this is one of the things, out mm. of many, you know, this thing always makes me old. <laughs> what is something you've learned from older entrepreneurs like me? <laughs> so, okay, so I don't want you to think of it. I do do the makeup, you know, <laughs> I, I, I don't, don't think of yourself as too old, like you know. Yeah, I man. think I think it's it's, yeah. it's it's definitely looking at it as people who've walked the journey, um, yeah. a, a, like a, a bit more ahead, mm -hmm. you know, than than where we are. And sometimes things are not going to go as as uh, smooth and as quick as you expect them to. Mm -hmm. um, and I think you only get that when you speak to people who've actually walked the the journey. Do you see yourself as a role model to me? And I'll, I'll, that's an interesting question, right? Because I think I also I also represent many other young black uh, males in in this country as well. Yeah. And I think thinking about our generation and people our age, do you, do you think you're a good role model to people like me? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think uh, for me, um, I think because I understand that we, one has got the privilege of of being ahead, mm. uh, and in South Africa, you can you can literally count like successful black entrepreneurs mm. with your two hands mm. i mean like people who've created billion rand industries mm. not mm. more than two hands mm. so i think there's always that responsibility mm. of saying shucks mm. uh, they, we make up 85 percent of the population mm. but only 0, 0.0 percent of people have started things from scratch mm. and built them into something big mm. so with everything i do there's always that mm. intrinsic there is a heavy load on the shoulders to mm. say you cannot mess this up mm. you cannot mess this up you know lots of people are are looking at you to succeed mm. and you like okay and you are supposed being one of them as yeah. you know so it's like <clears throat> something that's there that it's like a guiding light yeah. you know yeah. and and uh, I'll, I'll just share a bit about that as well and as someone who was sitting in university at, at some point um i remember reading your story and mm. and seeing uh, because i think at the time, Grand Merchant Bank had just started the Alpha Code program, yeah. and I remember, I remember just looking at at your business and being so inspired. So I'll tell you that you are a role model, actually, oh, you, and uh, yeah, like <laughs> you're right in saying that you do yeah. 
you do have a responsibility to sure. but at the same time like it's just amazing the work that you've done like it, it's inspired young people who didn't necessarily always think they could do it because yeah we hear these stories you know like Mark Zuckerberg but it's yeah. so detached from reality yeah? well, mm. it's not someone of your skin color it's not someone of this continent Absolutely. Um, it's, yeah. it's so detached from reality that you don't necessarily think it's actually possible for yeah. you to do it too True. So yeah, uh, I think uh, for that question, uh, you are a model. Oh, thanks, yeah. man. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for the question. Man. Yeah, man. I think that was uh, fantastic. I learn. Every, I, I learn something new every single time I chat to you. Every single time. Thanks, man. Oh, man. Oh, man.